So here we are back in the example map that we just finished exporting. So there's some other cool stuff that you could do to this map to spice it up even more if you really wanted to. For instance, let's add some decals. So to add some decals, go to scenario, go to game data, and then you'll see decals. Now when you select it, you'll see a lot of stuff become highlighted. So what this actually is, as you can see, I can move around these images. And you can, if I just, since I select this, I can paste another one. And I could even rotate it using this blue cube. So the cool part about this as well is you can choose from a list of de decals that are pre-made and just kind of place them in. Honestly, you can spend a lot of time really just messing around with just this part and not even adding stuff to your level and it could completely change the level. You can see here I can make some pretty drastic changes just by adding some decals. Let's see. Let's add that green one there. Actually, let's add this one. So you can see here, I've added all this cool stuff. And now let's take a look at it. There's that red one there, or some paint ones there. Oh, well, actually, I guess that's a bug. They do not show in this, but I will export the map and I will show you them. So let me just show you as well. You could really add these decals anywhere you want. Um, they can't go on moving objects as far as I know, like the, the main windmill here. But you can add one onto here. Danger, danger, danger. See, it's a pretty dangerous place. I wouldn't want to be here. And it even kind of molds to 3D model, which is really cool. So, yeah. Oh, well, now they're showing up. So you can see there, danger. We have our stains that we added. And, yeah. Once you export the map now, you'll have all these stickers, or decals rather, on it. Alright, cool. I'll see you guys in the next episode.